run it, 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 miracles are real. God is the touch of lives all over. Nothing is impossible. We I welcome in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I welcome in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are all welcome. May the good Lord bless every one of you for joining us this evening. Again, may the good Lord bless you. May your life never know emptiness in the name of Jesus. May your life never know emptiness in the name of Jesus. God bless every one of you for coming over. God bless you for stopping by. God bless everybody in the house. God bless you all. God bless you all this evening in Jesus' name. I welcome you all in the name of the Lord Jesus. I'm trying to pin it up so that I can start it up. God bless everybody in the house. God bless you. For the good Lord will continue to strengthen every one of you. The good Lord will continue to bless everybody in the house. Your life will not know shame. Your life will not know disgrace. Hallelujah. You will continue to be what God said you will be. No evil will be for you. No evil will be for your family. No evil will be for anybody around you. Hallelujah. No evil will be for anybody around you in the name of Jesus. 
that God has started a great work in your life. He may know will perfect it all to the glory of his name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I welcome you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are all welcome. You are all welcome. Please notify me if you are here so that I can appreciate every one of you. I can see that four people are already watching me. And uh, please help me to share the video. If you have not done that, help me to share the video. Make the video go viral. Let the people around know that God is with us here this evening. Hallelujah. Let's welcome ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Let's welcome ourselves with the glory of God. Let's welcome ourselves. Hallelujah. I welcome you all in the name of the Lord Jesus. You are all welcome. You are all welcome in the name of the Lord Jesus. So this evening, I have a topic before us, the Bible study. In this Bible study today, we are going to actually study some good uh, things concerning our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are studying the Word of God today together. And the Word of God that we are studying this evening, I want you to pay, atten uh, pay attention to it. Let your pen and paper be with you so that you can jot some things down. This will bless your soul. This will bless your home. Hallelujah. And this will take you along as we go in Jesus' name. So please, if you have not shared this video, please help me to share the video. What are you waiting for? You don't need to just be here without sharing the video. Share the video. Invite others to join us. Hallelujah. So let's take the word of prayer before we go into the program of today. Hallelujah. Amen. Father in heaven, we say thank you this evening for bringing us together. Abba Father, we appreciate you. Prince of Peace, we thank you. Rock of Ages, we exalt your name. Holy Ghost, we welcome you to our news this evening. We ask that you come and take over the service. Let it be to the glory of your name and to the shame of the devil. We invite you to our midst this evening. Holy Spirit of God, use me to the glory of your name. Use me to magnify your name. Give your children a listening ear. Give us understanding of your word today that your name alone be glorified. We cover this Bible study with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for having your way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Dearly beloved, you all are welcome in the name of the Lord Jesus. I welcome you. I remain your sister, Pastor Juliet Obebo. And please, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Please do that for me, okay? Do that for me and God will bless you all in Jesus' name. So this evening we have a topic before us which is, the race is not to the swift. The race is not to the what? To the swift. Hallelujah. What does that mean? It is not how you labor. It is not how strong you are. It is not your, your intelligence. It is not how brilliant you are. It is not your degree. It is not all the uh, credit you got from your school that will put you where God, where you are supposed to be. Hallelujah. Except the Lord build a house, the builders, the builder in vain. So that is our topic this evening. The role, the the race is not to the swift. Hallelujah. The race is not to the swift. When we are talking about race, the 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 goal, the the the, the, the award. Amen. The trophy is not to the it's not to those that are really really hard working. Amen. There are people that are that are that that how will I put it now? There are footballers that play more than Messi. There are footballers that play more than Ronaldo. There are footballers that play more than uh, Yekini. There are footballers that play more than uh, uh, Mikel Obi. There are footballers that play more than these people, but they are not known. They are in the village. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There are people that sang more than Michael Jackson. Amen. But they were not known. Hallelujah. There are people that, that, how will I put it now? You know all these things. You know those people that are really, really hard working. But they are not known. So that is what this word of God is telling us now. In this Ecclesiastic 9 verse, uh, verse 11. He said the road, the race is not to the swift. Amen. The race is not to what? To the swift. Hallelujah. The race is not to those that are strong. The race is not to them. It is God that makes it happen. It is just and there and happening that make it to happen to us in Jesus' name. So I said, let me explain it. I said, for over and over again in life, we see these things, this as true experience. Amen. Over and over again, we see this true experience. We know this. Most of us that comes from Africa, you know this. There are people you know very well that when they are singing, when they are, you know those days is our custom, when we are walking, 
either in the farm or we are washing our clothes or we are cooking, you see us singing. There are some ladies that sing very, very well. When you hear their voice, oh my God, you will, you will be looking for where you will be tracing that tiny voice. But today they are not snow. Hallelujah. They are not snow. So what am I trying to say this evening? You being in that position you are, it is not by your power. It is the grace of God that located you. And it, you have to give that, that time back to him. You have to acknowledge him. Just as I came out yesterday to appreciate everybody. Amen. There are so many people that their children did bad days. Nobody, nobody know of it. Even when they post their post, nobody will acknowledge them. Amen. But you people always pay attention. Each time I show in my post, you, 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 re, you recognize it. You comment on it. Praise the Lord. So that is one of the examples I will be giving this evening. It's not all about, all about, you know, people, you know that, you know this. No, it is all about God. Everybody has to know this, that it is all about God. Because without God, it is not possible. Amen. It's not possible. So if we turn our Bible to the book of Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 9, verse 11. Thank you for those of you that are watching me. Ecclesiastes 9, verse 11. Let's go there. Ecclesiastic 9, 11. God bless you all for joining me this evening. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Olavisi. God bless you. Good evening, my darling. God bless you for joining. Hallelujah. Ecclesiastic 9, 11 says, say, I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the sweet, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bright to the wise, nor yet riches to the men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happen to them all. This is Solomon speaking. Solomon know actually that all that he has acquired as a king was not by his power. Praise the Lord. He knows. He knows that what he has in, the, in, his, in his possession was not by his power. He never labored for it. He never labored for it. It was, it was just chance and, and happening that happened to them all. It was chance. It was just by favor that he has to find those blessings. Hallelujah. So, you see, sometimes most people don't know this. Most people don't know this. Hallelujah. Most people don't know this. Anywhere you are today, don't mock whosoever that is done of you. Amen. If you are opportune to be educated, don't mock those that are not educated. Because if they have gotten the same opportunity, they would have been educated too. Amen. If you are in a marriage today, don't mock those that, that marriage has not favored. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. These are the re these are the top. These are the reason why I just have to come out this evening with this topic. I have to I, I have to make people to understand that most of the things that uh, you are always mocking people for, it is just that God just choose to help you. Amen. You are not better off than that person. Hallelujah. So the, the high time has come for believers to always appreciate the goodness of God for His goodness in their lives. Praise the Lord. If you are in that position today, maybe you become a, the head. The masters, I always tell, me, tell them in the church, I do tell them in our church, I say, please, so I am just opportune to be a head in your midst. Hallelujah. I'm opportune to be what? A pastor in your midst. It doesn't make me more important or more superior than you. It is God. It is God that makes it happen. Hallelujah. It is God that makes it what? Happen. It is not that I was so, I'm not, I'm not much educated than you. I'm not more higher in grade than you. I'm not more, I'm not higher intellectual than you. Praise the Lord. If God has put me here now to dish out the word of God, it is grace that find me. I, ha I, I don't have to take this grace for granted. Hallelujah. So please, I want to make this note to everybody this evening. If you are opportune to be in a position whereby you can assist anybody or maybe whereby you are a little bit greater than somebody, don't just think that life has finished. Amen. Don't conclude because you don't know what tomorrow will bring. Hallelujah. It is just time. It is just time. Time we tell. So the time has come that believers should always look at themselves equal, irrespective of whom you are. I could still remember when I was growing up in, in, in our place, those days, because I do follow all these big, big ministers. I follow them. Sometimes I will see some big, big ministers, a young minister want to shake them. You will see the way they will react. I will say, oh my God, 
I was I was young. I have not even gotten married at that time. I was imagining it. I said, what is this? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I was imagining it. I said, oh, what is all this? Praise the Lord. If you are a bishop, it is the grace of God that makes you to be that bishop. It's just a name. It's just a name. No man of God is greater than each other. We have a God that is greater than God. Amen. So, no woman of God is greater than anybody, any woman of God. All women of God are one. It is grace that located you. If God has given you some wisdom, some skills, it doesn't mean that the other person you are looking, at, looking down on is not, is, not, is not achieving anything. Praise the Lord. You have seen in the race, whereby uh, the person that started the race, like all this, uh, all this uh, uh, 3,000 miles uh, race, you see it. Sometimes the person that started fast, that was at, at the beginning, he was, he, the person was at the front, front row. You will see that at the time, the last person that started last, that was running last, you will see that the person will overtake all of them and he will not become first. So, this, this evening, I want everybody to have a, a, heart, of, a heart of reasoning. Let's sit down and, and, and reason together. Let us sit down what, and reason together. Let us all begin to appreciate the goodness of God on the position that God has put us. Amen. Let's appreciate one another. All the time, I always say this, that is why I always humble myself. You will never see me in the streets that I will see you, I will not greet you. It's not done. Irrespective of your age. Even sometimes if you don't see me, I sometimes I will call the person, I will, I will make sure I bring the person attention to myself. And I will greet the person. Praise the Lord. Sometimes I will be greeting them. You see that they will ignore me. A lot of them have done it. Even of recent, somebody did it to me too. I greeted a man. He was working with another person. He just he just pretended as if he doesn't know me. My daughter was with me. My daughter said, Mommy, ah, this person don't know you. I said, My daughter, I know him. Oh, I don't know what has happened. No. Are you getting me? So the time has come. Don't think that if you have 2,000 euros in your account, life has finished. You cannot step on everybody's head. No. No, my dearly beloved. My dearly beloved, no. No. David was, after all, David was picked from the wilderness. He was picked from the wilderness where he was taking care of the, sh uh, of the, sh of the ship of his father. That was where he was picked. And God granted him, granted him what? To become a king. He was crowned a king. We don't know what tomorrow we give to We don't even know what the next hour we give to us. We don't know. The high time has come that we should, uh, we should esteem one another. Praise the Lord. The time has come that we should do what? Esteem one another. We should value one another. The time has come. My dearly beloved, the time has come. Because this is what the word of God is telling us today. The word of God is telling us. More, it, it's, uh, uh, what is his name? Solomon said, hey, oh, if I have knew, if I have knew, that was what Solomon was saying, for him to have said this, you know, there was a time Solomon said, he said, everything is vanity equals to vanity. And actually, it is equals to vanity. Something just happened in, uh, in the room. I think uh, in, 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 in that place, now what happened? What happened there? All of a sudden, an explosion just took place. The, the, the place they stole their, 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 their chemical. What happened to it? It just blew off. More than 2,000 people now are homeless in Beirut, in one of the Arab, Arab countries. Just yesterday. But last week, these people were having their houses. They were still living in their houses. They were still calling themselves landlord and landladies. Praise the Lord. If it happens that you are having a tenant in your house, treat that tenant well. Because you don't know what will happen tomorrow. If it happens that somebody is 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 patching with you, treat that person well, squatting with you, treat the person well. Praise the Lord. Most people that hurt me when I was young, today it still remains in my memory, but I'm forgiving them. I do assist so many of them today. So what am I trying to say? Any 
where you are, any position you find yourself, count it all joy. It is the grace of God that located you. It is what? The grace of God that located you. So please, I'll beg of you, live your life for God. Live the life that God said we should live. Live a, a, a humble life. The reason why I'm having a problem with so many people, most especially the ministers, is because most ministers, they pretend a lot. They are not what they are preaching. That is what is aching me. It bleeds my heart. It hurts me so much. If I say you are my own, I will never condemn you at your back. Instead, I will come to you at the front and tell you, sister, brother, what you just did, I don't like it. The topic, the rest is not to the swift. It's not how you made it. Praise the Lord. So what am I, why did I, why am I explaining it this way? I'm trying to explain it because most people, they just take the opportunity they have for granted. They take it for granted. Because you assist somebody, that person cannot speak again. If the person talk, why would that person talk? Praise the Lord. Why would the person talk? Why would that person talk? Who gave that person a voice? Who made that person a judge? Why would that person talk at all? No, it's, that is not the will of God concerning us. We should learn to be, to be calm. Praise the Lord. We should learn to be what? To be calm. Hallelujah. We should learn to be calm. Because most times, those of us, those children that you are looking down on, we turn out to be the person that God will use to bless you in return. Praise the Lord. Most people, those people you are you are making gestures, those people you are looking down on might become a person that will take you up tomorrow. I was discussing with somebody the other day. I said, Do you know, at my age, so God be the glory. Just this last month, I completed my 48 years old. I was telling a sister, I said, Do you know what? I said, at my age. Please don't laugh at me. I want to say something that will make you laugh. But don't laugh. It's not, I'm not joking. At my age, I did not know the size of my bra. Until last month, my, my month of birth. What happened? I went to do shopping with my daughter. We got to the store. Yeah, they said, all this, uh, uh, all this and uh, 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 now yes. I said, ah. And when I saw a brow, I said, I like this brow, but I want it in this means that I, I don't know my size. My daughter said, Mommy, you don't know your size. Okay, wait. Before I knew what was happening, my daughter picked up a brow and gave it to me. I said, Mommy, this is your size. I said, Are you sure? Because most times, if I buy a brow, I must go back. I must, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> I must go back to do what? To adjust it here by the side. Just to fit in. So my daughter said, Mommy, this is your size. She brought it out. And she gave it to me. When she gave it to me, I said, are you sure? He said, yes. And I took the bra from her. I went, I asked the lady that was selling. I said, can I test this bra? He said, yes, go and test it. I went inside and I test the bra. And I found out that it was actually my size. Do you know what happened to me? As I was pulling off the bra... Tears rolled down my cheeks. I said, oh, oh God. I said, look at the child that I have given, that I get back to. She's the one that was not telling me my actual size. She's 20. I am 48. I can as well, I can as well, eh, eh, intimidate her when she was giving me that bra. I can as well show her down. I said, no, 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 don't give me that. I know what I'm doing. I know the best thing I need. Are you getting me? But what? I humbled myself and I collected it from her. And I tested it and it worked for me. Most of us, the reason why we are making mistakes it is because of our pride. Arrogancy. The high time has come for you to know that it is not all about education. It's not all about education.
education. It's not all about your skills. No. That is what the word of God is telling us here. In Ecclesiastic 9 verse 11, he said, he said what? I returned and I saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift. No, the battle to the strong. It is not because you are too strong. That is why you, that is why they are, you are not being defeated. No, it is the grace of God that is protecting you. It is not that Babalawa medicine that they did for you. That is why you are still alive. No. Don't be deceived. Some of us thought that it is because we are in Europe. There is a medical care, a good medical care. They are taking care of me. That is why I cannot, I cannot be sick. And that is why I don't believe in miracles. Dearly beloved, let me tell you something. It is God that makes you not to seek. Hallelujah. It is just the grace of God. It is the grace of God. So, you see what he said here? He said, he said, never yet bread to the wise. It is not because you are too wise. That is why you are working in the best company today. No, it is not that. It is just God that said, let me bless this person. Let me bless this person. Praise the Lord. So the time has come that every one of us should sit down and begin to say, Baba, you must acknowledge his presence. You must acknowledge his works in your life. The time has come. Don't be ignorant of his good works. Don't be ignorant. Don't intimidate people because of your positions. Nobody that doesn't want to be educated. Nobody that doesn't want to be important. Sometimes it's an opportunity. That is why I don't look at, I don't look down on anybody at all. Anybody is anybody. Nothing will make me look down on you. Why? God could have chosen to make me a what? A wood. He would have chosen to make me what? Flower. He would have chosen to make me a vessel. A vessel of dishonor. May God choose to make me a vessel of honor. In one of the in one of the verses in Jeremiah, he said there are vessels of honor and there are vessels of dishonor. Praise the Lord. You are just a clay in the hands of God. God chose to make you a potter. He chose to make you a beautiful thing. Because he is a potter. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He chose to make you what he makes you all to be today. So the time has come that every one of us should appreciate the goodness of God in our lives. The time has come we should begin to embrace one another. The time has come. The time has come. For those of our elderly ones, treat the young ones well. Because a time is coming where you will become that young, that young one. At a time, a time is coming whereby you cannot even cook for yourself. You need somebody to assist you. What position has God given to you that has made your head swollen? Please pardon me for my words. If it's not if it is not too good, please don't be offended. I'm only speaking my mind. Praise the Lord. So the time has come because why the reason why most people are missing it, missing out their blessings is because of this. Is because of this. You see, verse verse twelve says he said, "For man also knows not his time." As the fish that are taken in a in, in an evil net, as and as the bears that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time when it falls suddenly upon them. Did you hear that? 
There was a time in the life of Solomon. He thought that he was the up, he was up. Often and no mega. Nobody is, is up to him. Even when the, the, the queen of Beersheba came to visit him, what did that woman say? The richest queen. When he came to the house of Solomon, the woman bowed. The woman was, she, she submitted. Because the place where, they, where Solomon was living was built with gold. The street was built with gold. Everything that Solomon was using was made of gold. Hey, when the queen of Bathsheba came, she looked at the king of, of, of Israel. He said, wow. She said, I've never seen a king like this. And for that reason, she refused to return back to her country. But here is Solomon, the same king that people were amazed of, of his property, his wealth. And all of a sudden, he was the same person that used the same word and said, Hey, not in this life for my people. Do you want us to start calling names? I will call you names of those of us that came from Africa. Where is Osama Beladi today? Where is uh, Ogbemudia? Where is Abrusali? Where is MKO uh, uh, Abiola? Where is Kudirat? Where is Tala Abasajo? Where is Maria Babangida? Oh, dearly beloved, anywhere you are, Count it all joy and treat people that are under you well so that you will eat the fruit of your labor. I just name some people to you now that you will know of. Praise the Lord. He said in verse 13, he said, This wisdom have I seen on also under the sun, and it seems great unto me. Just the same way. I am talking to you now. That was how Solomon sat down. He began to ponder about the goodness of God, the wonders of God. He began to admire all that God has done in his life. And he saw it that all that he has acquired was not his strength. It was not his power. It was the grace of God that located him. So dearly beloved, are you watching me this evening? You are still thinking that what you have is by you? Are you still thinking that it's, it's, it is by your strength? There are people that are training day and night. They train all through. They train. But it, are you trying to tell me that those uh, sports people, the footballers, they don't train? Why did they lose? It all depends on God's will. I need us to always pray this prayer for ourselves and say, Father, let your will be done in my life. The will of the Lord must be done, not our will. The time has come that most everybody in Europe should, should stop this mentality we have. Now that we are in Europe, we thought we are in heaven. We are not in heaven. Don't look, don't forget where you are coming from. you before your call farmers they are still farming they are still in the village where there is no light where there is no water but God choose to bring you here it is high time for everybody to wake up and say father where you go I will go the time has come Some of us, we were not having a building. Our parents were living in a rented apartment. Before we left Africa. That was one of the reasons we left Africa. We said, let us go and make a name for our parents. Let's change their statue. Among your childhood friends, there are still some of them today. They still, they still hardly feed three square meals. You are not better off than them. 
the time has come that every one of us should say, Father, direct my path. Show me your love. Teach me the way to go. Help me in my service. Hallelujah. This message, people might not like it all. Because Solomon said, in verse 12 of it, he said, he said, for a man also knows not his time. Man doesn't know his time more. You don't know the day where God won't bless you. You don't know the day where the devil won't come. But it is just God that will make it not to happen. There is an evil day. Some of us, the way we behave. If you behave negatively to your God, when the evil day will come, who will help you? The race is not to the swift. The race is not to the swift. The same God you are ignoring is what will help you when the time comes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He's been what? Been in a place of opportunity, the right time for place of opportunity. You need to pray. Oh. Many people you have labored. Now so that they do one, you do one. You don't do all what you want to do. Your papa said before he can't hand them over to you, the struggle. He said don't struggle. You need to pray for opportunity. You need to pray and say, Father, let your opportunity locate me. Praise the Lord. Let your opportunity do what? Locate me. That is what we need to pray for. I said, only the wisdom of God functions. So it's only the wisdom of God that functions. Every other wisdom will fail, but the wisdom of God will not fail. Hallelujah. The wisdom of God will not fail. Let the wisdom of God function in your life. Let the way, let, let the wisdom of God do what? Function in your destiny. Meditate on his word every day. Ask for the Holy Spirit to fill your heart. Ask for the Holy Spirit to feed your heart with the word of God. By his word, you begin to meditate, you begin to survey. Let the spirit of God in you survey all the goodness of God around you. Through that, God will begin to do that which he's supposed to do. Hallelujah. God will supposed to, he will begin to do that which what he's supposed to do. Proverbs 3, 5. Proverbs 3, verse 5. Proverbs 3 verse 5. Proverbs 3 verse 5. Let's go there. He said, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lead not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Trust in the Lord with all what? Your heart. And lead not unto your own understanding. For some of us, we just bought ourselves a car. We thought that pastor cannot talk to us again. Why would they talk to me? They, they don't they fear. That is when we'll be flinging the key. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not angry, oh. I'm not jealous, oh. That you are flinging. I do do it. Sometimes I flick my key. I flick it like this. But do you know what? That will not give me the right to disrespect my elders. It does not give me the right to disrespect my pastor. No. Even when I was still in Africa, I never disrespected my pastor one day. My spiritual pastor, or the when I now got married, my father in the Lord, my present father in the Lord, who born me? Then I find out that 
that today, those of us that was workers in the church, while we are still in Africa, we are the first people now that disrespect pastors. Why? Why? Why do we want to bring cause upon ourselves? Why do we want to spoil all the good works we have ever done for, our, for God? Why? The race is not to the sweet. Yes, you can be, you can be of help to your pastor. You can be the one paying your pastor's bills. Yes. Can't it all joy? Can't it all privilege? When we were growing up, when I was still in my primary school, I was a prefect in my class that I, if my if my if my phone mistress just called, who we go to my house to go and wash my clothes, I will be the first to say, Ma, I ma, I ma. I will run, be happy to do it. I just use that as an example. Do you think I will just do that work for nothing? There is a blessing attached to it. If I can get the blessing, the reward of working for my, my teacher, is it my father in the Lord or my mother in the Lord that I will not get blessing from? Or the time has come, even when you see that they are discussing, I'm not talking, it's not by because of my members, eh? My members, they are very, very, I, I, maybe, maybe at the out of 12, they might be Judah, yes. But my members are decent, please. They regard us. They respect us. They give us our due respect. But I'm talking about the attitude I've seen in the life of others. There are so many people I've seen so kind of funny attitudes in their life. And they say they are Christians and they are under pastors. The way they treat their pastors, that is not the way to treat a pastor. You gossip your pastor negatively. If your pastor did anything wrong to you, call your father in the Lord, call your mother in the Lord, talk to them, mommy, daddy, ah, uh, please, so, uh, daddy, uh, there, this, there's something I, I don't understand, though, I don't know if you deliberately did it, or you, you will not even say, daddy, you offended me, or daddy, I verse for you, or mama, I verse for you, no, those are signs of disrespect. There is a way we put it, your woman of God or the man of God will say, ah, this person, oh, please, I don't know that he hurts you, my dear. Please forgive me. There is no body on this planet that I cannot tell, please forgive me. I am sorry. There is no body. Some of us, we argue. The race is not to the swift. The race is not to the swift. Remember this today. It is just a time that happened at all. It is just a time that happened to them all. It is just an opportunity. God's opportunity. Praise the Lord. So let's go. Let me see what is written down in that Hebrews. God bless every one of you for watching. God bless you all. God bless you. I do really appreciate every one of you. God bless you all. God bless you. He said, he said, for you have none, you have need of patience, that after you have done the will of God, you might receive promise. You are in need of, you, you want, he said, for you have need of patience, that after you have done the will of God, you will, might be what? You, may, you might receive the promise. You need patience. Don't run faster than your shadow. You need patience. Be patient. Be patient. Don't just do good for somebody and just say, ah, you know, sir, the next minute, you know, sir, you know, if you tell me thank you, why not tell me thank you now? Why not tell me thank you now? No. If you are helping me to write down, just write Hebrews 10, 36. Be patient to receive your reward. Be patient. Let other people appreciate you. I was, I was telling you guys yesterday that the gown I was wearing, the dress I wore, that African dress I wore, was given to me by a sister. Praise the Lord. So what am I saying this evening is that let every one of us be what? Be patient. Let every one of us be patient. Oh, my son, God bless you. 
Hey, Ken, Osu, uh, Osu, Osu, Osuma. God bless you. God bless you for being here. Thank you for watching. Relax. Be patient to be rewarded. Humble. Let people mock you. Eh? And that's what they, like they tell mama, mama. Yes, leave it like that. There is a reward of humility. There is a reward for humility. Let don't be despised. Don't don't be don't be deceived. There is a reward when you humble. Eh? They take you for a fool. Now make you the do No, don't worry. <laughs> oh. A day we come, I will share some testimony with you guys. I will tell you about my life. A time is coming. Not yet. Very soon. Whereby I will use one hour to narrate my own story to you. The need of you to be patient. The need of you to be, to be humbled. I will narrate it to you guys. Sometimes if I if I sit down and look at myself, when even when nobody is with me, I shed tears because I know where I'm coming from. I know where God picked me from. I know where I know where God, where people rejected me, where God picked me from. It is God that said I will leave. It is God that said I will be educated. It is God that said I will be what I am today. If not, let alone for human being, they never wish me to achieve anything in life. Anything. But God, and I know the reason why God did it that way. I never blame anybody. I see, I, a time came in my life, I now see the reason why God has to do it the way he did it. He has to do it that way so that nobody will ever give the glory to their sex. That if not for me, if not for me, Juliet Ogbebo would have not be this. God, God just did it in his own way. He did it in his own way. That is what Proverbs is telling every one of us. Proverbs 3 verse 5, 6 says, let's go back there. Proverbs 3, 5, 6 says, it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lead not unto your own understanding. He said, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Dearly beloved, I'm coming from a place. I am coming, me, 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 I'm coming from a journey. That is why I don't despise anybody today. Never. Never. And I make it understand to my children too. I told my children, never in your life, no matter the position that God will put you, never you hide your ego because you are nobody. You are nobody. It is God that just chooses to bless you. And as my children, as my brothers, as my sisters that are watching me now, the same apply to you. Don't never, if you have been doing it, stop. You, humility is the goal. Humility is the best to achieve all that God prepared for you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to his name. In 1 Corinthians 15 verse 58. 1 Corinthians 15 58. <clears throat> Glory to his name. He said, Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, unmovable, always abide in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Just because of his glory. Be steadfast. Don't be carried away. Don't be moved by anybody's attitude. Stay to enjoy your life. Stay to be blessed. The little blessing you are seeing now is just, it's just, a, it's just a mega blessing compared to what God has in stock for you. Truly. Truly. The rest is not to the 
swift. It's not because you are too strong. No. And another, another advice I want to pass to somebody that is watching me now. Please, if it happens that anybody around you was affected with this COVID, don't look down on that person. Don't stigmatize, stigmatize, uh, stigmatize that person. Are you getting me? Don't stigmatize that person. Because why? It could have been you. It could have been somebody you love so much. It's not that person's fault if he was afflicted. So don't begin to narrate that person and say, hey, hey, this person, that person. No, 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 no. no. And as of you that was afflicted, don't stop lying. You are the only person that knows what you experienced in your body. And God delivered you. What you are supposed to be doing is to give God praise. And make it a testimony. If not for God, this thing will come my way. If will kill me. Stop lying. Stop telling people that you are claiming faith. What faith are you claiming? When you are lying, you are not telling people about the goodness of God? Praise the Lord. Speak. Tell them. Oh, it was God. There was a time this same COVID almost afflicted me. That was how I knew that this thing was on air. Not, not by touching surface. Or, no, 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 no. It's an air, airborne pollution. It's an it's a air, air pollution. It's in the air. Praise the Lord. It's an airborne uh, 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 I would like put airborne chemical that they used. It's just yeah, it's just like where yeah, you turn a uh, jig. You add jig to this uh, <clears throat> this chemical that they used to clean uh, that they used to clean uh, what they call it that they used to clean uh, uh, maybe uh, water system when they when they when they sick or the system is blocked. That's chemical that you pour on it and it will not dissolve the the, 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 the the substance or the oil that is blocking the pipe. Have you not seen where it reacts? When you pour that chemical, you said, okay, it's not sufficient. Let me add jig to it. There is one chemical they call Akuma. Yeah. If you add it to that chemical, the whole house, you will see it if all your metals, all your metals, your pots that are opened, you will see it will just afflict them. It will change the color. Even your sink, your sink will change. That is the kind of chemical they used in this in this COVID. It's an airborne uh, disease. It's an airborne infection. So, can't you see that most times? If you well, well, if you leave your if you leave yourself without using a mask, say let me just do a bewaja. Before you from outside come back, let's just say you stay one hour outside. If you come inside, you will see that your throat will crack. For you to know that it's an airborne disease. It happens to me. When this COVID just uh, when they said that there's a lockdown, everybody should stay inside. The first month. After the first month, after that March, April came, right? I said, ah, I don't tell to the stairs so Let me just carry my chair. I took a chair. I sat at this balcony here. At my frontage. Before I left that place, dearly beloved, I came inside. I began to feel some kind of funny uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, something moving in my back. It was like something is moving at my back. I said to my daughter, I said, no, 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 no. Something is moving. I'm feeling some pain in my back here. Within two days, less than 24 hours. Less than 24 hours. I was already down. It was this Agbo. I steamed myself and I began to drink, drink Agbo, eating ginger, eating garlic. Eating this a bitter cola, and I started taking this 
say if it had the before I knew what was happening, I got myself back. I didn't go out. So it can happen to anybody. It can happen to anybody. So don't don't be don't don't be don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Ah, God save me, or if not for God, this thing could have taken my life. To God be the glory. The rest is not to the swift. Praise the Lord. So be steadfast. Don't be discouraged with the attitude of anybody. Don't say because they are doing like this, let me do it. No. Stay put. That is what 1 Corinthians 15, 58 is telling you. That you should wait. It will return the blessing back to you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In Mark 13, 13. Mark 13, 13. Let's go there. Mark 13, 13. He said, And you shall be hated by all men for my name's sake. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. What is this place telling you? Be steadfast. Unmovable. Praise the Lord. Don't worry. The rest is not to the swift. It is the grace of God that put every one of us where we are today. Hallelujah. In Isaiah 30, Isaiah 30, 21. Isaiah 30, 21. <laughs> oh. Isaiah 30, 21. <laughs> He said, And your ear shall hear a word behind you, saying, This is the way. Walk you in it. And when you turn to the right, right hand, and when you turn to the left hand, your ear will hear. What is that ear? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost. God will cause the Holy Spirit to speak, and it will direct you to the right, to the left. Isaiah 20, Isaiah 30, verse 21. Allow God to move. If it is all about power, might, we, don't we have uh, these uh, truck pushers in Nigeria? Ask those people that are investing uh, onions in Europe, they will tell you how hard onions is. Praise the Lord. Ask them. How hard is that? How difficult it is for you to harvest onions? Even this strawberry. My husband said it's very, very difficult to harvest. But if you see those people that did that job, among them, they have no home. It is people that dug out salt from the sea. If they tell you how they are digging it. It is, it is people that type Pawai. The people that type Pawai, they are not richer than the people that are selling it. It is people that do what? That type rubber. The people that type those rubbers. They are not richer than the people that are, are fabricating it. Let me give you some reasons tonight. Praise the Lord. I need to give you some reasons tonight. For you to know. It's not how far. It is how well. There are people that have made good money. But they were not established. There are people that have acquired E.G. Solomon. It's a very good example. A very good example. But he's not greater than where are those words today? Praise the Lord. What work has Dan got a deed? That is so great. There are people that brought out those, those products. There are people that have those raw materials. That they turn to become a product that they are 
are selling and bearing his name today. Those people that address those raw materials, they are not known. The race is not to the swift. Don't be deceived. Don't allow the material things you have seen around you to make you to, to be carried away. Praise the Lord that you are welcome. Are you getting me this evening? So please, I beg everybody this evening. If there's any way, I will never preach without telling you to go back to Jesus. I will never preach in this place without telling you that you must, you must fall in love with God. Make God your priority. Acknowledge His works in your life. Praise the Lord. So please, dearly beloved, let all the glory, whatsoever you are today, let all the glory go back to God. Let it go back to Him. Let it go back to God. Always sit down. Remember, I know that so many of us, many of us, arrogancy and pride are sitting us up that even we are telling people that uh, he will not suffer for Nigeria. I, for me, I suffered. So God be the glory for God using a vessel to bring me out of that suffering, which is my husband. So what am I saying this evening? The race is not to the swift. We read it and we saw what the word of God says. Now the battle for the strong. He said what? He said it is time and chance that happened to them all. It is the grace of God that located you. It is the opportunity of God that located you. It is the Holy Spirit that brought you to opportunity. Tell him. Direct my path. Show me the way to go. In Proverbs 3 verse 5 and 6, he said it to us. Proverbs 3 verse 5 and 6, he said, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways, Acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Always know this. Always know this. And God in heaven will bless you. In the rest of the months, we still have some months to go. Even though God has not even be, he has not been exhausted. It's a new one. You can still rectify things. You can still ask the Holy Ghost to direct you. You can still ask for his wisdom. You can still ask for his grace to push you into that opportunity. You can still ask God for mercy that wherever you have disrespected anybody, that God should have mercy. You can still do that. It's not too late. And as you do this, my God in heaven will bless you. May the Lord return back whatsoever the enemy has stolen from you all because of ignorance. May the Lord bring you back to his remembrance. May the Lord push you into your inheritance. May the Lord remember you in that of wilderness and refavor you. May the Lord relocate you to that position that he wants to put you. May his blessing never depart from your home. May the healing of God take place in your life. May the Lord take away every disease that was supposed to destroy you. May the God of heaven heal you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. May he restore you the joy of your salvation. May the Lord restore your womb back to you. May the Lord restore your marriage back to you. May, may the Lord bring back that your prodigal child back to your home. May you find peace. May you find love. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. May the Lord bless every one of you. You are blessed and you are favored. In Jesus' name. Daddy, do you have a word for them? Mm. Now, the word I have for us is where you read uh, Proverbs chapter 3 verse uh, Five, or six. Five and six. Lean not on your own understanding. 
In other words, your understanding will fail. Your strength will fail. Even if your understanding did not fail or your strength did not fail, you cannot compare your strength to the strength of God. If God should decide to do it for you, it will be better. If God reason it out for you, it will be better. If God directs you, it will be better. If God make it for you, it will be better. You know, sometimes some of our own understanding is maybe you depend on man instead of you to depend on, depend on God, God for promotion. If man lifts you up, man cannot lift you up above his height. And even if he is able to, he can lift you above his height. And yeah. even if he is able to lift you above his height, it cannot be one, it cannot be more than six inches above his height. You know, it's just like when you lift somebody up, let's assume that you lift somebody up mm. practically. Now the person is above you, isn't it? Yes. It cannot be six inches above you. Mm -hmm. Highest, just an inch. But if God decided to lift you up, if God decided to do it for you, more than sky will be your limit. Mm. Because the Bible says, imagine the height. The, the, there is no man on earth uh, that have uh, more than 10 meters as height. At all. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, is it meter or feet? They normally feet, count. Feet. God bless you. The highest, the tallest man on earth, maybe 9 feet. 30 meters. 9 uh, 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 whatsoever. But imagine the, 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 the Bible said the 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 the, 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 the heaven is the office of God while the earth is his, his full stool. So imagine the length. So when God lifts you up, he lifts you above the second heaven. So I pray for somebody that have so listening to this message today, Amen. not only listening to it, that have decided to say, if I from this hour, I will, I will allow God to do it for me, Amen. not me doing it for myself. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Amen. you will arrive well. Bete kurata mene kozi gaba erede de yege gorodi salakata that load that you have been carrying alone. Have you heard this? And drop it at the feet of Jesus. The Lord will carry it for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. That what you are looking for, you have been trying, striving by all means to get it. And you couldn't. In the name of Jesus, one touch, the Lord will strive it out for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. God will declare it out for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Beleto, menekura, yagagarete, ezizi, yagoteria. The favor of Wednesday will baptize you. Amen. We always have favor in our church on Wednesday. We call it Bible study and also miracle service. Mm. We declare and prophesy yes. you will receive visitation. Amen. This night as you sleep, you will have an encounter. As Jacob had an encounter and he, his name was changed to be Israel. So you will have an encounter. Your name will be changed tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Bericonima, Sandoria, Egegerete, Babarodi, Alakuta, Erere, Nonoli, Koria, Babrado. Your hand has been striving it for you. Your hand has been making it for you. Amen. But this time around, it shall be switched to the hand of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Remain blessed. Thank Remain you. blessed. Thank Remain you. blessed. Thank you. Remain favor. Yes, Remain favor. Yes, In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. Congratulations everybody. to every one of you. God bless you. See you guys on Saturday.